Hey YouTube, I am just here. I've been like crazy all day doing little projects. I'm trying to redo my son's room before he comes back. But I just wanted to do another video because I finally have time to do them. So I'm trying to get as many videos done as possible with all the ideas I've been having. Um, anyway, so this year I did a birthday countdown for my son and he absolutely loved it. Um, so I'm also going to be doing the 25 books of Christmas countdown. So I just figured I'd go over what books I'm going to give him before I get them all wrapped. Um, so he's two now. Um, he turns two on Sunday. So just so you know, like the approximate age range that I'm going for. Um, I hope you all like it. This is going to be pretty quick. Uh, if they need explanation, I'll give explanation. But, let's get started. Let's see. The first one I got is Horton Hears a Who. Obviously, Dr. Seuss. Um, right now I'm actually redoing his room, Dr. Seuss, because he's obsessed with the cat in the hat mostly. But he just got green eggs and ham for his birthday, so he's loving that one too. So I got a couple of Dr. Seuss ones in here. See, I have this Read to Me Classics, Classic Tales. It's a Disney. I actually found this. We have this store called uh, Martin's. And there's one, like, right down the street. And we found these, like, really cheap. Um, but it has, this is Lady and the Tramp, obviously. Bambi. And it just has these gorgeous illustrations. They're a little long for him right now. Um, but hopefully soon he'll really like that. See, the Dr. Seuss's sleep book. This is actually my mother-in-law, or sort of mother-in-law, sent this for him forever ago. This was his daddy's favorite book as a kid because it was so long. So he loved getting this one before bed. Let's see. The Legend of the Candy Cane. This was always one of the ones that we read as kids um, right before Christmas. And... Oh, I should probably be doing authors on these. Um, let's see. The other ones have been pretty obvious. This one is by Lori Wahlberg. Let's see, Waiting for Winter. This is actually an Usborne book, but it's uh, King Miller Publishing. But I got it through Usborne. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. I love this song. So we grab the book and it's by John Rocks. And let's see. Keep running gingerbread man. Which does not have an author. Oh, here we go. Written by Steve Smallman. I tried to do a mix, not just all Christmas books, but do a mix of some books he can read throughout the year as well that aren't just Christmas themed. This is another Dr. Seuss, Yertle the, Yertle the Turtle and other stories. Like I said, we got a lot of Dr. Seuss. See, this is also Us Born and it's Ted and Friends. It's a phonics book. So it's really, again, a little bit too old for him, but it's a pretty simple book, but I love it has like these flaps that open and stuff like that. And uh, I love Usborne. Um, a lot of his birthday books were Usborne as well. And this is by Phil Roxby Cox and Stephen Cartwright. see these ones I got it's uh my very first Winnie the Pooh so these are all Disney and Scholastic we have Safe at Home Pooh's Neighborhood Pooh Helps Out Sweet Dreams Pooh and Pooh Visits the Doctor We have Meet Santa Claus, 
by, oh, Pete Moss and Ivy Meet Santa Claus by Michael Berenstein. These are some of the ones that were his daddy's book with, books when he was a little kid. So, The Night Before Christmas, which doesn't even have an author on it. It just has an illustrator, um, but it's a random house book. The Berenstein Bears Meet Santa Bear, which is by Stan and Jan Berenstein. Bialowski's Christmas by Leslie McGuire. Uh, Merry Christmas, Mom and Dad by Mercer Meyer. He already has a few little critter books out that he loves. So I'm excited for that one. The Berenstein Bears and the Truth, again by Stan and Jan Berenstein. The Berenstein Bears in the Messy Room. The Berenstein Bears Learn About Strangers. As you can see, we have a bunch of those. Let's see. The Santa Shimmy by Chris, Christiane Jones, I think. And I think this one we actually got for free in the discard pile at the library, if I'm not mistaken. I Love You Forever by Robert Munch, or something like that. I'm actually not a big fan of this book. Um, but this is another one that, I'm pretty sure I actually got this at my baby shower from my mother-in-law. That was one of his daddy's favorite books and they used to read it all the time. And last but not least, Dr. Seuss's ABCs. He actually had this book earlier and I put it away because I hated this book. But now we're getting to the point where he's learning his ABCs. So hopefully I don't hate it as much. Um, so those are the books that I'm doing. I did, he is getting other books as well for his birthday. He probably got somewhere close to like 40 books. Um, we did a countdown and then we ordered from Fifth Street Books, which is a great site where you get, uh, I think it was 25 books for like $15. Um, I'll probably be doing some kind of a book haul, a kid's book haul with that one. Um, when they, they actually, it's up north with them right now. So, um, I'll do that eventually once it's down here and I can see everything that we got. But I just wanted to do this one real quick, um, before I get them all wrapped because I'm probably going to start wrapping those soon. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If there's any other books that I should get them for Christmas or whatever, just let me know because I'm always looking for new exciting books that my son's going to love. So um, I hope you all have a great day. And I know it's a little early to be talking about Christmas, but it is what it is. So have an awesome day, everyone. Bye.